All right, so I'm out here with Todd. We're gonna go try to roost a bird tonight. My season starts tomorrow. Start on my property here and we'll check out a couple other different places, see if we can get something located. Nothing. Calling in the crow. Yeah, calling the crow in. I used to shoot a fireball all the time. <laughs> Guest for turkey hunting, 9850. Hopefully we can get on some birds this morning. I noticed one thing about this new camera, that it works a lot better when you take the lens cap off. <laughs> We got, got enough to go camping for a full week. He must have got kicked out of the house. <laughs> All right, here we go on our big turkey hunting expedition. <laughs> So all the birds that we had were right along this creek right here, and they pitched down into the field that's over here. I heard oh. for sure four. So there was one here, here, and then there. And then there was one way back deep, yeah. back over that way. I think he was in the one pine of the trees right, right there. Yeah. yeah, he was. I mean, he was maybe 80 yards from yeah. us, 75 yards yeah. from us. Here. I think he knows we were here. We were too close. Yeah, I think he might have seen us. Yeah, it was too light already. If we would have got in here, it was darker. I think we'd have been all right. But but he was still responding to every call, though. That's the thing that was so weird. Yeah, so he wasn't spooked. It didn't but you know what? I've seen that happen so many times before. You know, usually I just hit one little call just to locate him and let him know I'm there, and then I shut up. Yep. Sometimes. Do you think I called too much then? I Not necessarily. I think the situation was is he already knew we were here. Yeah. It's worth getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning just to hear him gobbling like that. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Oh, it's amazing. I know. Well, we could try swinging over the back side of there. Yeah, it's your call. You can do whatever you want to do. Let's move. If you want some ugly looking arrows, do it yourself. But if you want something sick, hit up Adam's Precision Archery. but there look like like three of them. Let's just try and call for the heck of it, see if there's a gobbler in that mix. I forgot my mouth call. Did ya? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Boy, that don't sound too far away. Mm. But you know, they're hanging out in that field just strutting. Option B is we run back in there and set up and just sit there for an hour and keep every half hour in a hit.
way they're all back in there. They're not that far away. They're not. The thing is, is that what I like about this spot is that they're on this side of the creek. They'd have to cross the creek to get over to that side where we were at. But if they maybe come up the field here. I'm not a very patient turkey hunter. So I'm always like, huh, let's move. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but. We're another like 200 yards down and yeah. set up again instead of calling over there. Yeah, we could try that. I mean, that's just options. I'm just, I'm just a cameraman. You're not just a cameraman. You are the cameraman. Okay, I am the cameraman. <laughs> so let's let's try going way down that way. Get out towards that field out on the backside. See if there's anything out there. Cause we heard a bunch of stuff out there. Maybe okay. we can spot something. Decisions, decisions. Relocating because Nathan is super super patient. I'm already getting to that point where I'm starting to shed the gear and say forget it. <laughs> Run and gun. Run and gun, baby. Head on in. Alright, got some milkweed here. Let's see, let's see which way the wind is going. We don't want him to scent us this morning. <laughs> Didn't take my shower. Probably I won't for the rest of turkey season. I did yesterday in the lake. <laughs> you did? Actually. There's something really refreshing about bathing in a lake. I tell you what, that uh, water would be real cold in the lake right now. You'd get a major case of the shrinkage. It is definitely um, eye opening. <laughs> This thing up. My box call sounds like crap. Nathan Nelson, Stillwater's Outdoors. Turkey's full. <laughs> Turkey ordinary. Slayer. Oh, I got a box call, man. That doesn't work. It sounds like he's got laryngitis. <laughs> it's like the wood got scratched. Yeah. It's probably from me beating on the thing too hard. Okay. That's, that's how I do everything. I'm just so rough on everything that I have. a turkey, I wouldn't breed that one. <laughs> we decided to hunker down for a little bit here. We're gonna just try to do a little calling and waiting and see if anything shows. I did a call just a couple seconds ago and there is a gobbler that's over there. He's with some hens. We've heard the hens do a little calling too. We've got a little rain coming so it may get nasty here soon, but we'll see. Oh. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> he gobbled it. Back. He likes that. He likes that. <laughs> My crappy calling. He likes those handicapped ones. <laughs> <laughs> if I kill a bird today, it's going to be out of sure luck. Not because of skill. I think that's always been the case. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. He's kind of angling away from us right now. That's him. That's him. He's close. Yep. Be ready because he can pop out any second.
I don't know. I was watching the camera. Did you miss him? Uh, hit it right on him. You show any sign of being hit? Oh, oh crap. He was close. Yeah. I put it right right on him. Any no indication of being hit? No feathers or nothing? Let me go look real quick. Thirty-two yards. It's thirty-two yards. Well, thirty-two yards from the feathers. Let's go. Just take a walk up the trail and just make sure that he didn't flop down or something. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, because I could see him all the way from here. He was still flying. He was still flying. That's a hundred yards, hundred fifty yards. You no, know, we gotta follow up on the shot. I rushed the shot a little bit because he he looked like he all of a sudden boogied. He popped up he, just like that. I told you you had to be ready. I I I was ready, but it was like. By the time I got it on him, he was starting to turn to walk away, and it was like, uh. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not gonna be able to help with too much. Yeah, yeah. If you want some new Stillwater apparel, be sure to check out the link in the description. And I'll tell you what, if they are wounded, they'll dig, they'll dig themselves right in somewhere. Yeah. You know. I mean, we should definitely look it over real hard and good. I, I think I, I think I aimed too low. Man, everything was just, oh, I mean, that was just textbook. Let's just look out in the field here and see if we see anything, because you might have swooped out. I didn't see any feathers either, but that don't mean nothing. Here he's laying right there. He's laying right there. <laughs> There he is. Yes! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You gotta find it. You gotta take a guy on glasses to find your dang bird for you. <laughs> Dude, nice shot. Are you kidding me? I got my camera like this and he's standing right there in the bushes watching me. I probably got him on camera. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. Cool. That is so cool. Busted off his wing on this side here. You gotta tell your wife to put better elastic in her pants. <laughs> <laughs> we we won't we won't tell anybody that you're wearing no, my we wife's won't. hunting pants. We got him. Hey Boone. Oh. Hey Boone, how you doing? We probably had four to five gobblers going this morning over there. Yeah, they, I know they were all over in there. Yeah. Have you ever hunted with them before turkey hunting? <laughs> yeah, a little if bit. You do make sure you got your sneakers on because you'll be running. <laughs> I, know, I, I know. I move a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know he's young and just got a lot of energy. And... Hey Maddie girl, you want to see our turkey? Yeah. Oh my boots. Yeah, you got your boots. Give daddy a big hug. Give daddy a big hug. Can you smile? Say cheeseburger. Oh. <laughs>